to cross North 7th Street and take your time. Hey guys, today we're in Indiana, Pennsylvania, standing across the street from the Coney. Now years ago, this restaurant was on down the street next to Jimmy Stewart's dad's hardware shop. So I figure Jimmy Stewart probably ate in it. So we're about ready to go in there and show you where you should go when you come here to see the Jimmy Stewart Museum. So are you ready, Bobby? I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. Here we have the Coney menu. And as you can see, they have a lot of stuff on here, so we're not gonna go over everything, but there are their burgers. And there's their Coney dogs. Now you're at the Coney, you gotta have a Coney dog, and it's made with Uncle Jim's famous sauce. There you have some sides of your drinks. You have a bunch of different desserts. You have some appetizers over here. You can see this place has been here since 1933. You got a lot of stuff, and there's their famous jumbo whole wings. So we're gonna try it Coney style, because that's the specialty. Got some other things. We're gonna get the homemade seasoned potato chips. Here we have a bunch more sandwiches. Look at all those different ones. I mean, there's just Tons of choices here, too many choices. Over here you have some soup and salad. A lot of choices there. You got your cob salad. I mean, just a lot. Got some entrees. Got salmon and chicken and rice bowl and haddock. And there's, they're kind of famous for this shepherd's pie. But we're not gonna get that, but we're gonna get the fish and chips, which is their specialty. Don't get it Cajun style. And some other items over here. We got a pot roast sandwich, some wraps, Cajun tacos, just a lot of different stuff here to choose from. I'm here with the owner of the Coney, Tim. He's gonna tell us a little bit about this place. We're just, we're upstairs in the, uh, the banquet facility. I consider it the nicest bar in Indiana. As you can see, we have uh, nice seating, decorations. The pool tables are still pushed together because of the pandemic, but that'll change too. And actually a 22 foot shuffleboard table. We also have over on this side, a full banquet facility. It's set up right now for a formal for one of the sororities at IUP. We're very proud of this building. This building was built in the 1800s by the Suttons and the Wilsons, who were the founding fathers of IUP. Thank you. Very nice. Never knew this was up here. Been here several times, never knew this was here. Well, and all this wood and these wood floors over here is original from 1880. Wow. All these posts, we were told that they're from virgin oak timber when they were cut. I've had people come in here and try and buy them off me. Very nice, nice place to come. As you can see, this place is huge. Love this Captain Morgan statue right here. It's awesome. All the way back. back bar is the original bar back here. Oh, this is where we started out at seven, we were 1,700 square feet back here. Now we're 17,000 square feet serving area. 17,000. Well, this is nice. You got a game room? Yeah, come on back. We have a wake right now in the Dublin. Wow, this place is huge, man. I mean, this place is gigantic. Yeah, a lot of these were donated by a guy I know that I went to high school with. But, uh, he's an avid hunter. Oh, that's nice. Wow. And this is going to be a guy that comes in for almost every day. He caught that in, in uh, Kauai. Man, this place is big. Dawson used to come in here. He had a girlfriend at IUP. He gave us a stick for sure. 
This is cool. Why well, we appreciate you walking around and telling us about no this problem, place. Brother. Thank you. We have a dance area back in here also. Place. The food has arrived and let's check it out. There's the fish with the Cajun seasoning all over it. Now you can get Look that the, without the seasoning too, Yes, right? you can. I got it Cajun style. And we got some potato chips. They're made here. And there's the Coney dog. That looks good too. It does. It all looks really good. It smells really good. And there's the wings with the, like the dry seasoning on them. And they look good. It's a full wing. So Bobby's going to try this dog out. Look at that. It's got chili on it, lots of onions that I love, do. and mustard. There's Had some audio problems, so Bobby's going to do a voiceover. The owner told us that the hot dogs they make there, they get from a local butcher. And you could tell it was very good quality meat. Also, they use the owner's Uncle Jim's original 1928 hot dog sauce recipe. And this sauce is excellent. That's a really good hot dog. It looks good. I'm going to have to take a bite of that. Try one of those homemade chips. They look good. Yeah. Kind of dip it in some ranch. Okay. Those are really good too. They're crisp. They're fresh. Now, I don't think we got seasoning on ours, but I think you could get seasoning on ours. We could get right? wing. Well, they're seasoned, but they you, we could have got wing sauce on them. But they do look good. Okay, we're going to try this fish. They're specialty. Put all that seasoning on there. It's just try a piece. Yeah. We're not going to put any tartar sauce on. And you could have got two pieces. For $11.99. Yeah. One, here we go. And we got the one because we wanted good. to get wings, but that is a really big piece of fish. It is. It looks nice. Here we go. Mm. Tastes good. I can taste the seasoning in it. Fish tastes great. It's flaky. Crust is good. I like it. I think it's really good. And they had tartar sauce. Got and tartar the, sauce. And, and the malt some, vinegar. Yeah, they brought me some malt vinegar. But I wanted to taste it first without anything. Yeah, it's with the seasoning, great, huh? Got, yeah, it's got a great flavor. But, uh, let's look at these wings. Now these just have like a dry rub on them. So we're going to try them. They said do them Coney styles. That's what we're doing. Mmm. Crispy. I can see the seasoning on my fingers. It's got a good flavor. I like them, but they're really crispy. I mean, you get a full wing here. So. Yeah. They're done really well. Here is the bill. I had a water, which was zero. Bobby's Pepsi was $2.49. The wings were $8.99. We added the blue cheese and celery. The Coney Dog was $3.79. The Coney Chips. $4.49 and the fish and chips $7.99 so a total of $30.78 not bad for all that food because we are stuffed we just left the Coney came up Vinegar Hill and we're standing in front of Jimmy Stewart's home and what better way to end the vlog in front of the home of Bobby's favorite actor but what did you think about the Coney Bobby food was really good. The hot dog was excellent. Your fish was re looked really good. It was good. Um, it was great. The wings were great, like the chips. Great service. They were very friendly there. And also, if you want, didn't want to eat inside, you could also eat outside yeah. on a pretty day. Owner was super nice. Just a lot of friendly people. A lot of good food. A lot of choices on that menu. Yeah, so there was really a lot. So if you're coming down here to Indiana, PA, to Maybe go to the Jimmy Stewart Museum, the Wonderful Life Festival, or anything else you want to go to down here. Make sure to swing in there and get you something good to eat. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, so until we meet again, J&B have, have left the building. building.